in this lecture i will discuss the topic relating to first information report f i r provision relating to first information report is made in the section 154 of the criminal procedure code it says this section is relating to information in cognizable cases information in cognizable cases so any person who has knowledge of incident of any cognizable offense commission of any cognizable offense any such person can go to the police station and he and he can give such information relating to the commission of cognizable offense he can give information orally to an officer in charge of police station generally inspector of police pi is the officer in charge of police station so when he gives information orally then that officer in charge of police station has to reduce that information in writing either he has to reduce it writing by him himself or under his direction and after write, finishing the writing of that information by the police it is to be read over to the informant for the purpose of checking whether all whatever stated by him is correct or not and when such information is reduced to writing or if the informant informant himself has given the information in writing then such writing need to be signed by the person giving such information and the substance of such information then need to be entered in a prescribed book kept by such police officer in the police station so such prescribed book book may be a fire register or case register then section 154 further says that that copy of the information which has been recorded which has been recorded uh which has been reduced and which has been recorded in the register book the copy of that information shall be given to the informant immediately free of cost then the subsection 3 of section 154 further says suppose the police officer refuses to record the information then such person that is informant who is aggrieved by such refuse, refusal may send the substance of such information in writing and by post to the superintendent of police concerned superintendent of police then that concerned superintendent of police after receiving such information may take further steps as per the code then the section 155 of the criminal procedure code is relating to information as to non cognizable cases so the informant who has uh, seen the commission of some crime he may not be knowing the difference between cognizable offense and non cognizable offense so with respect to any particular offense which is in fact non cognizable when such informant gives the information to the police 
in the police station then the police officer concerned police officer has to enter such enter the substance of such information in some another register kept for that particular purpose relating to non cognizable cases but the sub section 2 of section 155 expressly says that police officer cannot investigate a non cognizable case without the order of a judicial magistrate it means that in case of non cognizable case police officer may take down the information and record it enter it in the prescribed register but they cannot start the investigation immediately without the order of magistrate but in case of cognizable offenses police officer has to start the investigation immediately without any order of a magistrate so these are the provision provision relating to first information report is there in the section 154 of the uh, criminal procedure code so what is the in fir meaning of the fir importance of the fir the term first information report has not been defined in the code in the criminal procedure procedure code but in substance the first information is that information which is given to the police first in point of time first in point of time first in point of time after occurrence of that incident of crime it is a nothing but the statement of the maker of the report that is informant at a police station before a police officer recorded in the manner provided by the provisions of this code the report that is giving of information that is reporting of information that is information report means that information first recorded by the police relating to commission of cognizable case is the first information report giving the first information of the cognizable crime that means because of that information given by the informant police first came to know about the commission of such cognizable crime before that police were not knowing about such commission only because of that information given to him given to them they came to know they have got the knowledge about the commission of cognizable crime so it is said as first information so the first information is that information which is given to the police first in point of time and on the basis of which the investigation commences and it relates to cognizable offense so with respect to cognizable case on the basis of what police start investigation of that case so on the basis of that first information relating to cognizable offense police start investigation immediately so the information on the basis of which police has commenced the investigation that information is the first information and its report is first information report thus in order to constitute a first information two things are necessary first it must be information that is it must be something in the nature of complaint or accusation to set the machinery of the police in motion so the informant who is giving the information maybe he himself may be the victim of that crime or maybe he is some person who is near and dear to that victim against whom such crime might have been committed therefore when he approaches the police and he gives the information it is in the nature of accusation 
it is in the nature of complaint and why he gives the information to set the machinery of the police in motion that means it it is his desire that police should take immediate steps to apprehend the suspected offender accused person and second important thing is it must relate to cognizable offense on the face of it then then only it can be said as fir if it is relating to cognizable offense the first information report itself does not constitute substantive evidence then after investigation is completed police files the charge sheet in the court on the basis of that charge sheet court take cognizance of that offense then court formally frames charges after framing charges trial get started in the trial court so in the trial firstly relating to cognizable offenses prosecution lawyer that is public prosecutor has to lead the evidence oral evidence evidence of witnesses before the court so first information report itself does not constitute substantive evidence nevertheless it can be used by the prosecution as a previous statement for the purpose of corroborating its maker under section 157 of the indian evidence act so what is the relevancy of that first information report so it is given section 157 of the indian evidence act it says formal statement of witness may be proved to corroborate the latter testimony as to same fact in order to corroborate corroborate means to support supporting evidence in order to corroborate the testimony testimony means what statement gives the witnesses it is called as testimony what statement gives the witnesses before the court it is called as testimony so in order to corroborate the testimony of a witness any formal statement formal means previous statement made by such witness relating to the same fact at or about the time when the fact took place or statement made before any authority authority legally competent to investigate the fact may be proved under section 157 so here the informant may be having a first hand knowledge about the commission of crime that he may be the eye witness or he might have got the information of it from other sources so before investigating police officer while giving information as fir to the police he is stating he is making statement about some facts and when the trial get started prosecution can use the statement that informant is again called when the trial is started that informant again called as a prosecution witness before the court so whatever that witness is now stating before the court those those statement which has which he has made before the court those statement are true and correct to prove this fact prosecution witness uh, sorry prosecution lawyer can show his that previous statement which is recorded as first information report by the police so it is Uh, that for first information report the statement of first information report can be used to corroborate the evidence which evidence now what that witness is giving before the court similarly 
such first information report can be used by the adverse party that is accused accused person for contradicting its maker under section 145 of the evidence act so defense lawyer can prove before the court that whatever that witness is now telling before the court it is false why because he has made some different statement by uh, uh, by reporting as fir before the police so there is a contradictions in his previous statement and what he is stating now before the court so that statement can be used by the defense counsel on behalf of the accused for contradicting that prosecution witness so this is the evidentiary value so this is the evidentiary value of the uh, first information report so section 145 of the indian evidence act its title is cross examination as to previous statement in writing a witness may be cross examined as to previous statement made by him in writing or reduced into writing so first information report by itself is not substantive evidence it can be used to contradict or corroborate the maker maker that is informant in the manner provided under the evidence act so conviction on the basis of fir without any substantive evidence is illegal so this is the ruling given by the supreme court in one case case of madhusudan singh versus state this case is reported in supreme court cases year 1996 volume 11 page 248 if a fire is lodged immediately after occurrence occurrence of the incidents of crime if a fire is lodged immediately after the occurrence then there is a greater chance of it containing the true version but with the passage of time the presumption of correctness goes on decreasing so for the purpose of weight of evidence regarding the weight of evidence if a fire is lodged immediately within short time after occurrence of incidents of crime then it is presumed that it is correct but when there is a passage of time such presumption of correctness get decreasing gets decreases so for the prosecution side the fir is valuable piece of evidence for the purpose of corroborating the oral evidence at the trial therefore it is essential that the delay in lodging the fir should be satisfactorily explained by the prosecution so suppose after incidents of crime the fir is lodged say for example after 8 or 10 days so during the trial prosecution has to satisfy the court why there is a, such a delay in lodging the fir because with the passage of time the presumption of correctness of its uh, correctness of that statement of fir gets on dec gets decrease so a prompt lodging of fir will give the prosecution prosecution side twin advantage two advantage first first is that it affords commencement of the investigation without any time lapse so if suppose in if suppose information is immediately given to the police after the occurrence so police can start immediate investigation and police police can arrest the suspected offender immediately but if there is a time gap between the occurrence of uh, 
crime and the lodging of FIR. Then, in between the time, there is a possibility that uh, accused person, suspected accused person, may remove some part of the evidence. He may remove or he may also abscond. He may run away. So it is necessary to launch a fire immediately after occurrence of the crime. And if the fire, fire is lodged immediately, promptly, then it removes the opportunity for any possible fabrication of false version. So with the passage of time, it, it might also be possible that informant may fabricate some another story and tell to the police because he got that much time to think over it and fabricate such false version of the story. So then it will not have uh, that presumption of correctness. So lodging of your fire immediately is very useful for the prosecution side. So we have discussed the topic relating to first information report. We will discuss some another topic in our next part of the video lecture. Thank you.